The dreaded, dreaded, dreaded metric conversions. Probably one of the hardest things I ever had to learn, and I really didn't understand it, honestly, and this is a shame, until my freshman year of college. And I finally, it finally made sense to me. And I think a lot of it was because I didn't use graph paper, and I wouldn't line my place values right, which, again, math especially, graph paper is awesome for kids who can't line their numbers up right. I was one of those kids that just, I would just mix them up. But the dreaded King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. Ta-da! Um, and I noticed when I was in my practicum that um, a lot of the kids had trouble distinguishing which D was decimeters and which D was decimeters. In a way, I told them, and I said, well, look at this. You've got your base. That's going to be your meters, your liters. He's all by himself. Base by himself. Now, these three, they're going to a party. And this one's going to a party. Like I said, B is by himself. Now, this D is going to be your decameters because D and K, deca. They're going to the party together. So this D is going to, to represent your decameters. I'm going to kill my brother. Anyways, okay? All right. Now, this D, he's going to the party with this. So this is going to be your decimeters. So that was a way I was able to help with my kids. I was uh, figure out which one was decimeters and which one was decimeters. So we can use the party scenario if they can't remember. Now, the dreaded conversions. Um, I use this method where I just kind of use the humps for the place value and line them up in a row. I know some people use the stairs, which is really good. And um, the, way, the main thing I like about using the graph paper when you're doing metric conversions is to hold your place value. Okay? And so when I converted this from hectometers to millimeters, I rewrote it in each number in each individual square. Now. Okay, I started off right here, and I counted, it was from kilometers to, no, hectometers to millimeters, so I was one, two, three, four, five. So I moved one, two, three, four, five, redraw your decimal, X that out, and then rewrite it. Remember, if the decimal's on the end, it does not need it. So alrighty, that's a little way you can teach metric conversions. Thanks.